Hey folks, Jim, just wanted to uh, uh, do a little addendum to the first one. The reason why I was so against people blowing all that money on packs, and I forgot to put that in, pack your trash to fit you back, but I think I got the point across, I hope. Okay, that, now we're going to move into pack your trash to fit your rack, as well as your back, okay? First, your rack that's going on underneath all your, your backpack, okay? So, and when I get done with this, you realize, well, all these fancy straps are just no good anymore. Okay, if, if you're smart and you got a two or three hundred dollar budget for a backpack, take some of that money and put it into a tactical vest, okay? Because remember, we want our primary and our secondary weapons, okay? If you're a tactical prepper, somebody's got to take responsibility for your family's protection, and I'm only sharing this. It might be a good idea for one person to do this, okay? Let your family do the boot scoot boogie, and you tackle the threat should it happen, okay? I'm just suggesting that somebody be prepared to take on a threat. Now, in order to do that, you need a tactical vest. And that means you can put your mole gear. If you've got a primary weapon and a secondary weapon, you need three magazines for both. It takes two rounds to put down a target, even for a good shooter, okay? And that's what tactical training teaches. <coughs> Sometimes three, okay? So think of that that way. In worst case scenario, you've only got to engage five targets per magazine on a 9mm weapon or the standard handgun if it's a 15 round magazine. A lot of mags aren't even that big and it's getting harder and harder to get the bigger mags, okay? So I want you to think about that. You need some magazines. You need your body, your magazines on you, okay? So if you're going to have a tactical vest, you might as well have it be a body armored tactical vest that protects your critical mass. So when you're facing those other tacticians who've been trained to fire a critical mass first, then do the kill shot. It's a stopping shot followed by a kill shot, okay? That's what all tacticians are taught. You don't go for the head right away. You stop the target, then you take it out, all right? So I just wanted to share that. Now, it might be a good idea to take some of that two or $300 you were going to spend on a backpack and buy some body armor tactical vest. One that's out right now is an AR-500, I believe, uh, $215, complete with some magazine pouches, you're going to have to order some extras, obviously, for your handgun and things like that. But you'll get some magazine pouches. You'll get a uh, holster for your weapon. I believe you can put it on your chest as well, which, in my opinion, if you're bugging out like this, you don't want your sidearm or your backup weapon on your hip. Okay? Your backup now becomes your primary in your bug out situation. Are you following me? You see what I'm talking about? All Spending all this time worrying about what backpack you got? It's really not that important. Any pack will do. Okay? It's time to spend more time thinking this things through. Like the four levels of food prepping, there are levels to bug out, okay? And if you're a pacifist and you just plan on packing a pack and bugging out and relying and having faith in mankind that you will make it, I am for that. I support that if that's who you are. I'm all for that. I'm, that's not me, though. I am a tactical bug out person. Therefore, I have to get the things that a tactical bug out person requires. The problem that I saw on the net, and the reason why I did the video, is that nobody's putting a tactical vest on, then the fancy backpack on. Now tell me how it fits. <clears throat> and tell me if all that money you spent was worth it. Because all your fancy straps are now covering up your critical points that you need to get to in an emergency situation, such as vehicle bug out. You want your secondary, which is now your primary in the vehicle. Your secondary weapon has just become your primary weapon because you can't fire a rifle out of a moving car. You can't reach for a rifle and get it into position while someone's charging your vehicle. Your, your secondary now becomes your primary in your vehicle bug out, correct? Okay, where else have you heard this on the net? I haven't heard it yet. I don't think people are really thinking this through, okay? So your backpack isn't all that important in this moment, is it? It's sitting in the daggum car, which is your primary bug out anyway, or your truck or whatever you're doing it with. And what you now need is your tactical vest and be prepared to defend yourself in a vehicle bug out when your hands are out like this now, right? Okay? I'm just trying to share common sense to you folks. Take some of that money you're going to spend on this hyper backpack, put $215, $250 into a tactical vest so you can put your ammo, your soya filter, your compass, your K-bar, which ought to have some fishing line and some sewing thread in it, and a fire starter of some kind. You see what I mean? When you start thinking this through, you just take them weight out of that pack and you're putting it on your tactical vest. Now, front side. You're, you're moving some of your weight to the front. You see what I mean? 
when you think this through, you're beginning to create a balance. And that's why you run out and buy some fancy pack and start prepping for that. Then you get your tactical vest. Now you realize that fancy pack ain't so important anymore because if you load a pack right, just about any pack will work. And now you can't use that fancy chest strap because that's where your primary weapon when you're doing vehicle bug out should be sitting if you have uh, thought this through rationally. You don't want it down on your hip anymore. You want it on your chest for a vehicle bug out. So you're bam, bam, you're hot. Instantly, you're protecting somebody charging your vehicle. All right? And you got to think about that. When we vehicle bug out, things can go wrong. Traffic jams. Uh, roads could be damaged. All kinds of things, correct? Well, you're going to have to stop, and that's going to set you up to be a target. By having that critical mass covered, you can probably take the first round at least. Or at least you can let your family do the boot scoop boogie, like I said. And you can stay there and take it. All right. Now, Main Prepper did a video on um, pseudo preppers, and that's what I'm talking about tonight. There's a lot of pseudo preppers out there who don't have a clue about what this is really like. SHTF bug out is not kumbaya camping, okay? And you don't need a fancy backpack. All right. What you need is what you need, and stop worrying about some $300 backpack. That's ridiculous because you're not going to be able to use all the straps anyway if you're properly dressed for bug out in a tactical situation. All those fancy straps are going to be tied up behind you and probably uh, you're going to cut them off when you see what I'm talking about when you put a tactical vest on that may save your life in a critical situation. But also you got to get used to now you've got your tactical vest on, it's thick in your shoulders, now you've got a backpack on, you see what I mean about all those fancy straps? Now you're trying to get your primary weapon, your rifle, into your shoulder for your firing position and guess what folks it's a whole new game that's why I was saying about don't worry about all this stuff start thinking this in layers right okay layers bug out layers four levels of food prepping we also got layers to proper bug out for a tactical bug out if you're a pacifist again I support you I believe that all people's faiths and philosophies should be supported and acknowledged and allow to people to live and let live as they choose but what most of you, I presume, are preparing for is to be tactical bug out. All right? Don't get the bug out bug eye. Bug out bug eye. Remember I said that in the last one? People getting bug out bug eye. And they listen to some guy who doesn't have the first clue about it out there. Or they went out and watched the tape and said, yeah, I want that fancy backpack because it's supposed to do all this neat stuff for me. Uh, your backpack's the least of your worries, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to bug out. Man, I, I, I care about you folks, and do not put a bunch of time into that stupid pack. It's really the least of your worries. What you need to put time into is the levels, all the levels. I'd rather have you have a balanced system, right, the layers, and invest modestly in each area so that you cover them, rather than trying to pour a bunch of money into one spot, to only to find out later when you get more advanced at this, you wind up regretting that big investment because now that fancy pack with all those straps, you're cutting them off. Okay? That's that's where I'm trying to go with this, okay? Get a tactical vest or look at them. Begin to look at them. Again, AR-500. Type that in online or in YouTube. I believe somebody demoed it out there. I don't know who he is, but I think somebody demoed it out there. Um, I've been looking at this vest for a little while. I want to upgrade to it because I like it. Uh, what I have now is ceramic, and I don't want ceramic for my bug out. It only takes one round, and it's junk. you got to get new plates, okay, or new discs or whatever, if you're doing dragon scan or whatever, you know what I mean? Ceramic can only take one round. you got to know that. Ceramic also has an expiration date. While it's lighter, okay, and maybe uh, better in a multifaceted way, uh, the extra four pounds that I'm going to be carrying with steel means I don't have to go to Amazon and buy a new plate every time I engage something. All right? It also doesn't have an expiration date. Read the small print on your ceramic vest, uh, people. If it's for your job, yes, I recommend it. Lightweight, comfortable, all that sweet stuff. Okay, But they know ceramics limitations and that they have to replace it every time they've been engaged or when it hits its expiration date. Why do you think you're getting all those cheap vests online? Please don't buy them. If that's all you can do, great. But if the AR-500 with steel plates is only $215, why are you going to pay 100 bucks for a police reject that they know is expired? 
The ceramic's gotten brittle. Its molecular function is changing. All right? They know this. Everybody selling you this junk out there knows this. Please read before you do something when it comes to your life. And it's just like I say about antibiotics or anything with your health. What works for one person may not be good for you and your family. Same thing with the vest. Read, read, read. Understand the limitations of ceramic. While it's lightweight and comfortable, it is not steel that's going to last. You're not going to have to run to Amazon to replace your steel plates 10 years from now because they've expired. Okay? And if you're talking about bug out gear, it may be sitting for years. Good old fashioned steel's always been in play. All right? And uh, to have a level 3 vest, I believe you have to have steel anyway as part of the, the plate system. Um, some ceramic like dragon skin and and I heard good reviews on dragon skin and bad reviews I'm just being your devil's advocate here today trying to open your awareness and get you to see things from a multifaceted perspective about what we're trying to do here watch main preppers uh, pseudo preppers video okay pseudo preppers that means those are the people who thought they were prepared but we've got the bug out bug eye and couldn't be blasted okay the things that I'm talking about they're gonna be coming for you Okay? They will. They will be coming to take your stuff when they realize they're not packed. They're the ones who are going to fall short in one aspect or another. All right? They're the ones who are going to be sitting out naked in one facet or another because they got the bug out bug eye. They were either great tacticians or good for food hoarders but didn't have the balance. Okay? When you're doing a vehicle bug out out of a major city for all you urbanites, I want you to think about where you want your, your secondary that has become now your primary. Do you want it on your hip when your hands are up here, or do you want it on your chest right there? Think about that. And that's why I wanted to share all this stuff and why I'm doing these two videos. It's not about, man, I'm tired of making these videos, to be honest with you folks. But Jimmy Rance puts it the best. And now I see this guy, main prepper, um, he doing pseudo preppers it's fantastic you got to understand this okay some people think they're prepared and that the thinning of the herd is going to happen real fast folks in the first 30 days i'd say nine out of ten people who think they're preppers are going to be gone all right and probably one in ten is going to make it that means every time you omit and cause a hole to be in your preps your survival rating just continues to drop and drop and drop and drop. And now I'm speaking to you, but if you've got a family, do you want those odds to keep dropping because you've got bug out bug eyes? You went out and bought a $1,200 rifle, a $300 backpack, when you could have had everything you needed for less money and been covered in all areas. Do you see what I'm saying? A DPMS uh, works, and it's about $600. The body armor is about 215. The one I'm getting with the curved because it'll take 308 rounds, which is what I I want armor penetrating rounds to be stopped by my my vest, and that's why I'm going with the curved plate. They'll they'll stand up to steel rounds to a certain level. So you might want to think about that too. Spend the extra 40 or 50 bucks on curved plates, not flat plates. Flat plates will defect most handgun fire and small rifle fire. It will not. Uh, deflect a uh, armor piercing 308 round and I don't even know if the plates that I want to get will do that but at least I have a chance you know what I'm saying if I'm at the right angle maybe it will deflect because it's already curved so that's what I'm trying to share with you when you think about everything involved here think about the layers just like food prepping four levels of food prepping requires balance right for a true SHTF four levels of bug out requires Prepping, mindfulness, think it through. Don't get the bug out, bug eye. Go out and watch Main Prepper's video. I'm not going to expound on it because I think he puts the decent things out there. He also talks about trading, things of that nature. Having some extra ammo is probably your best trade. It's going to be more valuable than gold at a certain point. Having those survival seeds is going to be more valuable than gold at a certain point. Food will be more valuable than gold. I want you to seriously think that through. Right? Mindfulness balance, therefore completeness, symbiotic relationship, right? The whole thing. Jim out. Experience, strength, and hope. Wish you the best. I hope this has been helpful. Plenty of videos out there. Plenty of people trying to share good stuff. You just got to find it.